What's up guys? Today we are going to finish wiring all the uh, Speedwino, which is a Speedy EFI on the Eclipse 2G, which is a 420A engine. Um, if you are watching this video and didn't watch a uh, video before, this one, actually a couple of videos before this one, just go back and watch those two first. Uh, this video we are going to wire the injectors and um, the ignition and they're very very special okay so I'm going to do my best to show you um, this is actually in the documentation I came up with this year as I was studying and, and trying to understand the firing order and all that stuff but injector one two three and four there are four ports of injectors on uh, my speed EFI uh, which is a speedwino and I have four injectors for four different ports on the ECU um, so the firing order is 1342 right so I wrote the firing order here 1342 and on the same order that it's going to be uh, fired on the ECU 1234 right so on that order I just tell in which cylinder it's going to fire so my injector 1 port 1 goes to the injector 1 physical injector 1 my port 2 go to the physical injector 3, my port 3 goes to the physical injector 4, and my port 4 goes to the physical inject injector 2. With all that said, I came to the Speed EFI, do it, uh, I think this is a fish dog um, pinout. And I have four wiring. As you see here, um, I was playing around, I was putting them together, and I mean, it's not going to work for my application. The way it works is what I just told you, and what we're going to do is on the pin 9, which is the white, white, white uh, wire, we're going to put 17, the ECU 17. Now 10, ECU 16, 11, ECU 7, and 12, ECU 13. So this is what we're going to do now. Um, yeah, let's do it. Alright, so here, blue on light blue with light green or black brown on light green or red uh, white on uh, yellow red and green on yellow and green so once all of that's done I know that the sequence that's gonna fire one two three and four is gonna be uh, one three four two which is what we need <coughs> So this is going to give us, sorry I was putting here on the tripod, this is going to give us uh, a sequential. So when we configure on Speedwino, uh, watch two videos before this one, we have, um, I configure real quick as a sequential, which means it's going to fire first, then it's going to fire the second port, third port, and fourth port. Uh, because we didn't wire 101, 212, 3, and 3, 4, and 4, it's going to fire properly the way we need. So, this is done here. We are only able to do this with the injectors and the ignition uh, because we have cam signal. So, we have crank signal, cam signal, which we wired on the last video, um, which is worth to watch because it needs an 8 volts and we need a little, a little part to make it work the link is on the description of that video uh, now we are going to wire the ignition which is uh, we have ignition 1 and 3 and we have ignition 2 and 4 you're just going to put 1 on port 1 ignition 2 on port 2 ignition and yeah that's pretty much it so I looked before and just by, by the way my my ECU is 98 so 1998 second generation uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse so the pinout is a little bit different than the 97 uh, the pin number 3 is brown the pin number 11 is black and blue black and blue is coil 1 and 3 so let's uh, let's go after uh, black and blue first which is 11 so we have first row 10 and then 11 black and blue here I'm going to cut it, this is going to be my coil. So coil number one, which I got to use 
ignition number one it is white and red so white and red is this guy here and we're gonna put those guys together so I got it all over here so we can get this in there black and blue and brown is number three one two three so I cut already and this is the brown right here and brown goes to ignition number two yeah see I was playing around so it was ignition three and four which is white and black so ignition number two ECU three which is brown goes to white and black triple check white black all right nice and easy with the wiring done um, this is the next thing we need to take all those things out except for the first one and we are left with this two with the same size and one larger one and this is the sequence we need to follow one goes on one I hope you can see two goes on three three goes on four and four on two so let's go to four on two first so you get a large one four goes on two so four is this top one here yep yeah, so that's right top one is four and so this goes on two so if I connect to that means that it's gonna work now we have three the exact same size four goes on three which is that and now we have the last one the last one won't connect this will not reach there and I have no way to uh, replace any of those is definitely uh, is just not gonna work uh, even if I put on one uh, it's not gonna reach up there I can try that could work it's gonna be tight though oh we actually made it so one oh one uh, two here <coughs> On number four up there there you go now number two down here let's connect this you gotta hear a little click on number three there you go and now number three in here on number four down there so yep this should do the trick that's the whole sequence uh, just the number one is kind of sketchy I hope it is connected uh, I might need to buy new cables so yeah that's pretty much it so yeah, after this year, car is going to be ready. Uh, we're just going to go through the wiring. Um, fix some of this here now. I mean, I don't need, I don't need a bunch of stuff. I don't need a map sensor. Um, everything else. Oh, the O2 sensor. Got to wire the O2 sensor next. Let's double check everything. Okay, one more thing I did is I connected pin 66, which is the uh, VSS signal. Uh, let me just double check. 66, yes. It's a yellow with a white stripe. Uh, I connect to the spare input 1, which is, which is here. Number 14, which is uh, gray and purple. So... It's gonna give me like a uh, launch control or, or some speed or some stuff extra things that I don't have on that car it's gonna give me this here 
on the uh, Speedwino. So nice, and that's gonna conclude, guys. I guess uh, this is all we need to do for wiring. Um, we have everything we need. I'm not quite sure yet about the, for example, the tech out that the ECU gives me. Um, should I plug that somewhere in any of those uh, wires? And so I guess we're gonna learn that on the next video, and on the next video also we will start the car. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell button. Um, I cannot find any information about this year so I believe this is the first uh, 420A at least 420A of having a Speedwino ECU uh, I know that they added support on the month 8 uh, so I believe August right uh, 2020 and now is October um, yeah so it's taking a little bit of uh, learning and thinking and you know processing in my head and see if everything works but again don't forget to subscribe like share comment love and i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video